Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy here for Nerds by Nerds with a couple of nerds. I'm Ted. And I'm Nerdarchist Ryan. And uh, today we're doing our, our, our uh, re revamped Nerdy News, a weekly digest, and we're not going to call it that anymore. We're going to we're going off the rails. We're, we're making an innovation here at Nerdarchy. <sighs> Nerdivation, really. Nerdivation. We're going to switch it up to the weekly wrap up because that's kind of more or less what it is. Down below in the description is where you're going to find all the links to the stuff we're going over. But first, um, DMG Info was kind enough. Can't show anything on the package without showing addresses. Uh, to send us um, a package in the mail, and you know we, we have our suspicions as to what it is. Um, but let's see if you guys can. I don't know if you guys can read that. See that way from down under Australia, which is really freaking Men at work cool. territory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, we have Ted's handy dandy knife. Utility knife. Yeah. And Dave is going to try and uh, Lock open, himself up open this without neutering himself. Yeah. Well, you might be doing the world a favor. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's too late. I've already spawned. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sad fact. Yep. <laughs> And then, uh, and it's niece, white cardboard on the inside. If my niece awesome. and nephew watch this. Uh, <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> it's all right. They return the favor. Well, no. Also, too. So, just so you guys know, it's Ted's niece and nephew too, and, and he's their, he's the favorite. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like it's not like they watch our videos anyway. For one, and for two, David would just say uh, PewDiePie is better. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, he would. He would call us no PewDiePie. We are no PewDiePie. Yeah. So, it breaks into two pieces of white cardboard yeah. these Plus, things are wrapped up it's a fortress oh, no. there you go we can get into oh i see dvd wait a minute here oh. right. i want to open them all up first you guys hold your horses oh no hmm. what's in the box what's in the box oh this one's really taped up good hey, you want me to hold her yeah it? yeah you can hold those real quick let's see what we got here now I'm definitely cutting the wrong way. This is there, a, Notice how I cut towards myself. <laughs> my this is exactly is, what not to do. My understanding is you should never cut towards yourself. Neurarchy safety tips. Yeah. Always wear your PPE. Yeah. A cutting glove or um, a cup. A cup <laughs> is always handy to wear. I don't believe I've ever put on a cup to open a pack. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been doing it wrong for yeah, all these years. Totally. You've, been, you've been risking your genitalia. <laughs> it's just a serious health hazard and issues. It affects, it affects one out of 250 Americans. All right, I feel like I'm making some progress here, guys. Oh, ooh, we got the packing slip or a note. It's an, invo no. it's an invoice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Ooh, and there's a booklet. All right, so we got a stack of stuff here, and here's a note. Here, Ted, read the, read the note to the people. In your dull set tones. Dear Dave, Ted, Ryan, and Nate, it has taken me... No, 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 you got to read it in an Australian accent. I can't do an Australian accent. <laughs> Dear Dave, Ted, and, and uh, Ryan, and Nate, it has taken me one year to rebuild one of the most precious things in my life. This is this sounds more like South Park. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all right. All right. <laughs> in the beginning, I had barely had any desire to continue. Two years of work were flushed down the toilet, and by crikey, I was in a difficult place. He didn't say by crikey, but really. <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude, immeasurably in hookers and blow <laughs> dollars, for helping me every week spread the word. Through qual qual koala dial infestation, roving gangs of London so soccer mom iPhone users, and coffee addicts, I managed to get this small token of my appreciation into the mail. May there be a tavern in Griffin Graph under which some of the included may be useful. Your friend and fellow YouTube adventurer, the DMG Info. And then there's a PS. Uh, and then sign Gareth. Q. Uh, P.S. When I am next in your area, I expect a BBQ and the hookers and blower on me. I mean, <laughs> literally on me, like a pile. <laughs> then we would laugh and then until Ted's wife kicks us out at 4 a.m. and Ryan can't remember where he parked his car and I howl a local zoo elephant because I'm cool like that and shit. And Nate has to figure out how to drive to the damn thing while Dave and I shout like button to the nosy, nosy neighbors. And he spelled it the, the uh, British way with the O. Oh, 
uh, URS for neighbors, and <laughs> armed police contingent. It will be good, and then I can finally use the phrase diplomatic immunity in a tense international situation. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun letter. For some reason, I don't think he has diplomatic immunity. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. Does just saying diplomatic immunity give you diplomatic immunity? Uh, I don't <laughs> believe might. so. Damn it. I think you actually need to be a diplomat. So, so what we have here is three DVD cases. So we got um, DMG uh, Season 1. And you guys can take a look. And there's a trusty shirt that says keep out of direct sunlight. <laughs> Season 2. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we also uh, the Under the Tavern video. Which, hey, I just plugged this a little while ago, I think, in a video me and Ted did. Um, it was it was oddly appropriate. And then uh, the adventure book for Under the Tavern, which is uh, really cool. I think you guys can actually pick all this stuff up on his website, dmginfo.com. No, I it's, isn't it dmg.info? Um, well, the booklet might have to do. I don't know. I, but if you start Googling around DMG Info, it'll come up. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get it. Well, so we can put it in the... Yeah, we can find it and put it in the description. Yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. So, uh, with that, we, you know, we have our, our, our normal wrap-up and news stuff to go over. Um, which... You know, <laughs> so there's actually there's so there's, there's some fans that want to start a game about uh, with counting the you knows because uh, yeah. apparently we say it a lot. Well, like you know, and uh, those yeah, it, are like the most common things people do. Yeah, the wife is starting to get irritated. All of my you knows, you know, she don't know. <laughs> she don't, if you don't know, well, now you know. Now you know. Okay, as always, guys, we have the Nerdarchy the newsletter where you can get weekly tips from us. As well as learn how to game with uh, Nerdarchy, and I believe we have um, three of those games under our belts now. Uh, mm -hmm. We got the fourth one coming up. Yep. With Ted on the twenty fourth. A random Thursday coming up in a couple weeks. Yep. Yes, pretty much. Uh, we have Nerdarchy the store where you can get nerdy swag. Ooh. Uh, we also have our Patreon account, Patreon account where you guys can uh, support us in a financial way. And for you guys that are already doing it, thanks a lot. Yes, thank um, you. We, we're awesome. still trying to like rack our heads around what kind of like rewards and levels and shit like that we want to come up with. We do have some ideas though, so keep your eyes posted. We'll make some noise about it once we have formally launch. Or if it. you guys have ideas, that would be great. Yeah, too. yeah. Help us do. out. Nerdarchy at gmail .com. We're yeah. not always firing on all cylinders. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, if you guys think push. think of something that we could like regularly meet. That would be fantastic. Um, hey, if you guys want to chat with each other and we'll pop in from time to time, there's Nerdarchy the Forum. Dun, dun, dun. That's going, and it's open 24 7. We never shut the doors. <laughs> it's like 7 Eleven. It is. Only you won't get shot, or your odds of getting shot are very low. <laughs> Lower than going to 7 Eleven. <laughs> of course, the beginning of our video is, is uh, basically a culmination of the relationship we've been building with DMG Info. Uh, Gareth, uh, he's been he's actually been very helpful uh, to, to us and giving us suggestions for the channel and he's just an all-around really good dude uh, but you know a year ago or so he had his channel go kaput because there was some mix-up with YouTube Koala dials, I don't know. But his, his videos disappeared behind a paywall and his 10,000 plus subscribers dropped to zero and it wasn't any fault of his own yeah, it was well, just a YouTube it, glitch. Yeah, and it and it really you know messed him up. As he said, you know he was considering uh, Packing quitting it, in, yeah. quitting it at that point in time. But you know, he again, you know, he uh, he he brought himself back back in. He's you know climbing at over eight thousand subscribers, and we're gonna keep talking about it until he gets back to the ten thousand he had. Yeah. Um. Oh, and by the way, what he does is, um, he doesn't do videos like ours. He does time lapse videos where he teaches you guys how to make uh, different dungeon props as well as dungeon tiles that are that are modular it's really cool it does an awesome job they're fun to listen to um you know i, I know ted of uh, the three of us ted is the one the most uh, has done that kind of crafting mm -hmm. um and he's very impressed with it i'm impressed with it but I, i'm pretty sure i would lose a finger if i tried <laughs> i actually was thinking for one well for one, I would love to see a montage of like Gareth climb back up to his numbers, like him a montage of him crafting and like that you're the best oh, around to so like a, <laughs> a, a like a Rocky montage sort of yeah. feel. And I also thought it'd be hilarious if we did a video series of you like doing shitty versions of Gareth stuff, like trying to do <laughs> yeah. it. And I mean, like this crazy thing, things hanging you, off my face. You're like cursing and cutting yourself and like hot gluing.
cutting part, like wood to your hand and shit. Like, that, well, fortunately, when hysterical. I'm cutting myself, I have the hot glue to seal the wound. That's oh. right. Yeah. Cauterize. You can cauterize it with the hot like thing too. Yeah, I, don't yeah. Think, yeah. I don't think it gets yeah. that hot. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell him that. Like, you know, like, yeah, here, cauterize it. <laughs> yeah, th that's an idea. This one probably won't happen. Put, put your comments down below. And uh, tell us tell how many times or how many of you want to see Dave do that. Yeah, shitty crafting. We'll come up with a catchy title for you. Like shitty, shitty crafter. crafting? <laughs> shitty crafter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, conventions. Would you like to see Nerdarchy go to your local convention? Well, if they invite us, there's a better chance. Harass your pro local promoters and perhaps we can make it happen. Indeed. Um, and speaking of conventions, April 2nd, Geek Fest is coming up. If you're going to be in the area, you know, contact us on Facebook. Uh, ca contact us at nerdarchy at gmail.com. Let us know you're going to be there. Career maybe pigeon. Do something afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can get to do like a meetup sort of situation or whatever. Druid animal, uh, animal messenger. Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, we are still taking your GM 911s, and the best way to do that is either on the forums, there's a section for it, or uh, nerdarchy at gmail.com. There's also put, another way to do it. Put GM 911 in the subject so that we know that's what it is. Right. And is. these are essentially if you have a specific problem in your campaign and you want us to help help you with it. Um, we'll give you a handful of suggestions as well as like 50 billion in the comments. Yeah, like sometimes we get some things where people are like looking for world building advice and that goes a little outside the scope of it because it's like, well, I mean, you're trying to build a setting and that's not like an number. Yeah, we still take viewer suggestions, yeah, yeah, which is yeah. completely different. Yeah, yeah. It's just, um, so it just would go into a different video series. Right, right. Uh, there's still the Nerdarchy uh, does video gameplay, which Nate's over there uh, doing videos for. Um, that's his only involvement with Nerdarchy at the moment because he's got other things going on. And then he's we, too cool for us. Yeah, he, he's left. He's become Nate the Nerdark status for real. Yeah. Then we have uh, on Nerdarchy.com. Uh, uh, we have Star Wars: Force and Destiny a beginner game review. We have All Jack Sentry Armor. Uh, this is the final installment of that series. It actually goes into the what the actual armor provides. Just think Destroyer. Does it come with Netflix? <laughs> Heads up display with Netflix. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, Seasons 2 of Daredevil is launching Friday coming up. Yeah, I'm Next pretty, excited, pretty excited, yeah, about I'm that. excited about that one as Heck well. Heck yeah. And then soon we should have Luke Cage. They announced the date, but I, I haven't looked at it yet. Mm. Uh, we have Exploring Genres Beyond Fantasy Can Make You a Better Dungeon Master. That one's from Ty Johnson, and it's a freaking awesome article. We have Fost Haven, a city on fire, adding a little hell to your Dungeons and Dragons you game. Correct them? What's that? You want to correct them? Uh, Faust Haven. Faust Haven. Yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Player tips, adding more class to your class. We got Z Monk. All right. So over on the YouTube channel, we have Force Ghosts. What's What's the worst that could happen? That was a Star Wars RPG session three, part two. We did discussing Ravenloft in 5e, the DMs Guild, and more. We did Stealing a 5e Campaign Setting, that's a Game Master Tips. We did D uh, the DM Wants More Role Playing and Backstory in their in their game, that's a GM 911. We've done that GM 911 like mm. 50 times now. Yeah, yeah, it's the <laughs> most... Mike Gould actually counts them off for us, so <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know. On this day, in this day, um, we did DM Tools, What to Work On, Faith, Deities, Religions. We did a GM 911 on the Dungeon Master Wants to Capture the D&D Party. And we did the Junkyard and Junkyard Harpies. That's a terrible terrain. I'm going to finish off the last four. All right, and I'll finish this off, uh, and the Australian will return. Or my, my interpretation of the Australian. Which sounds a lot like uh, <laughs> a Canadian. Canadian. Trevor and... Uh, Terrence and Philip. Yeah, yeah, Terrence and Philip yeah. from... Uh, yeah. the Dungeon Master needs help picking monsters from Monster Manual. GM 911. Psychedelic fantasy tabletop RPG settings and games. 5e rituals and the ritual cast defeat in 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons and Dwarven Paladins seeking ancestral homeland, which sounds like Brunor Battlehammer. Game Master Tips. <laughs> there we go. And <laughs> Gotta throw it, all done. Pressure. So until next time. Stay, stay nerdy, nerdy by Cranky. <laughs> <laughs>